Good morning. Yes. Uh, I hope this will be a short video. Probably not. I need a newspaper. Hold up. A newspaper. Um, I've got some names for these. Uh, this is obviously a complex hybrid and I got the name Trigocentrum uh, something something I forgot um, as maybe being one of the parents and it does look like it and if I look at this lip it's different from what I am used to on Oncidiums. Now my knowledge is not as big as some. I'm only in it for four years, so. Um, but I got one that provided a picture. Um, I'm going with Oncidium honeybee. And uh, Wichmann Orchids in Germany has this one, so I'm pretty certain it is. The other one, I got several names. Ooh. It smells chocolatey. Yeah, this one smells soapy. Um, Oncidopsis Francine. I got some other names, but those had waxy flowers, and this one does not have waxy flowers. No, it does not. Um, and if you look at the lid, it has a bit of a cool growing lip, so this one gets another treatment than this one. Uh, but first, we're going to look at the horror in the pot. What does it have and what doesn't it have? Um, I have a small pan of lukewarm RO water. And there's a reason for that. And, ooh, oh, oh dead people. I'm going to um, let it soak for a while. So, this one is on its way out. It's really, really pretty. It has four different colors. Pink, red, orange and yellow. Okay. Uh, yeah, you saw yesterday that this is a somewhat floppy growth. So I think that one is... Oh God. Well. Now we know what's in the pot, or what's not in the pot. Oh my god, this is horrible. Yeah, this one needs more than just a little water. It needs a miracle. Yeah, this is très terrible. Really it is. Wow. Stupid clips. Really. Yeah, that's what I thought. This is the new growth. This is attached. And no sign of new stuff. But that will come. There's moss and... Ah. and 
This is going to be reported in the, well, yeah, the Symbidian mix. A little bit of normal bark. This is really, really old moss. There is some good stuff, but let it soak. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now in a moment I can see which roots are turning green. Let me do it like this. I'm sorry, that was super crappy. Yeah, it's uh, two days after Monday, so Monday always works a bit longer. Uh, There is too much stuff. This one. And I don't think that this one does the same. No, it doesn't. Well, I can already see we have to take off these two bulbs. And that's all I'm going to do. Peavy stuff. And I can see here there's a normal moss plug and it is still wet while the rest of the plant is dry. Here's the the starter plug, you can see here it's from a very small pot where it started with these two. And these two, yeah, basically don't have any function, so I'm going to take these off. And with that, I'm going to take off the old bit of the root system. This is all new and tough. So this one gets uh, large bark. And it's a more a non -sidium than this one, so it stays a little bit drier. Well, it's not much, but it's better than the other one. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take off the old bulbs, show you how to do that. And it is safe to do that, because the plant doesn't really need them, or use them. see where the rhizome is and I'm going to make a clean cut. That was too clean. There we go. We have the bit of moss and most of the dead roots. And the rest is okay. That one isn't. Just give it a gentle tug. And after about a year, you will learn how a dead root feels and a fresh root. Uh, I'm going to close this one up. I don't see any signs of bad stuff. Oh. Um, yeah, 
ja, this one goes in big bark. See wat de hal op. Ja, ja, oké. Okay. En daar zit we nou. Ja, this one needs uh, a little more, like I said. You see what the roots are doing. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I don't have a bulb here that can be removed to get rid of the old roots and the moss plug, so it's tweezer time. But not now. I will probably put that bit after this video, but I'm done for today. Later. Well, they've been soaking for a good 10 minutes, which should be enough. Um, uh, no, don't eat this one. Okay, there's a lot of stuff on the table and I will be needing everything. Um, Apologies for the big hair, but my uh, elastic bands are all broken. Yes, I just broke the last one. And the shops aren't open yet, so... <coughs> okay, uh, normal bar. Uh, some aquarium grid for uh, weight in the pot. That's for the... Omsidopsis, because it has a very small and weak root system. Uh, small bark for uh, also the Omsidopsis. And here is the wet mix, which is uh, peat, cocoa fiber, cocoa husk, bark, and moss. Yes, it is. Okay, um, what do we need? When do we need it? Uh, pots! A small closed pot, meaning it hasn't hole, hasn't got any holes. Mm, yes, bad English. This is for the uh, Oncidopsis, because it needs to stay a little bit moist, not too much. And a pot with holes. That's for the For this one, the honeybee, honeybee. Um, yeah, there's a problem if you do this, and they should make these. Yeah, I'll gladly pay a little bit extra. Um, after a while, these pots get brittle, and if you drill holes in them, that process speeds up. Uh, sissy clip. Yep. Uh, yeah, organization, not my strongest suit. Let me see, this one all had good roots. Yes, yes, well, screw it, I'm gonna pot it anyway. Um, small bar here. Open pot. Tap it in with a little less. All right, okay. Now well, let's just work. And they 
don't mind using a little force when you get them in the pot. Not too much, but a little bit doesn't. Do we need a steak? Yes, of course. Um, we have a steak. Oh, damn here. There, the sissy flip. Yeah, this one really smells like chocolate. It's truly a sight to behold. Um, well, that was good enough for me. Uh, next one. Yeah, I, I got my media in the kitchen because this is all way too <coughs> moist for the media. If I leave it here, mushrooms start to grow. Um, this can be no, no. Not yet, not yet. Small and wet media, or just wet media. Hmm, what to do, what to do. This took great, really. And this is why I don't like to stake up my plants. This is how they grow in the wild, but if you don't, it takes up really a lot of space and falling off and down and over. Uh, yeah, you could do it a little way. Some new stuff, but it is not much. Oh yeah, I it was tweezer time. Sorry, how silly of me. Let me pause you for a minute. Well, that took another fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, this one needs to step it up. It is a branching root system, so it will branch. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, a little bit of normal bark at the bottom. That's where the moist stays the longest, especially when you have a root system like this. And I'm gonna fill it up on the side with a little bit of this stuff. Now I'm not gonna give the water for at least a day or three, four, because both have been soaking. Yeah, this definitely needs a steak. Um, a steak. Mm, yes, no. Yeah. Sissy bread. It's not gonna fly, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can do it a little more. Now let's see what it still wants to do. Does 
Dat zit niet, dat zit dat. Ah, dit is. We need a bigger steak. Way bigger. There we go. Well, not exactly what I want, but it will do for now. Will it? No, it will not. Uh, God damn it. Well, I'm not going to argue with it. It will stay up for a while. Uh, okay, that's it. Um, and this was nine minutes. With the other one, that's 18 minutes. Wow, fast rebound. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. Later.